So you might think of Reactor's factory library as a collection of more than 70 professionally designed instruments just waiting for you to get in and explore. And that's true. But there's in fact more to the story. See, Reactor is really designed with the idea that you should be able to get in and modify and change and create to your heart's content. And to that end, Reactor includes not just the high-level uh, instruments, which are known as ensembles in Reactor, one of which we're looking at here, this is a chord, but it also includes things like macros, which are building blocks, uh, kind of preformed structures that allow you to do things like insert amps and mixers, displays, effects, envelopes, filters, LFOs, uh, things that you would use in a modular building environment. One level below this, we have modules, which are the individual parts that make up macros. Uh, so there's really no limit to what you can do and what you can build. And this isn't even the full story because there's in fact an entire realm below what is known as the primary level that consists of core cells and core macros. This is where all the low-level digital signal processing work is done. So it's no joke that Reactor really allows you to get in and change and modify and create as you desire. It puts no limitations on what you can do. So let's take a practical example of what you might do using one of these uh, pre-built macros. We're going to take a look at using the Space Drone Sound Generator and making a modification to that. So that's next. Now let's take a look at using one of these macros to make an alteration to an existing reactor ensemble. This is a lot of fun to do, and it will show you kind of the depth of what you can do with the reactor. Now right now we're looking at the Space Drone Sound Generator. This uses 96 parallel voices spread across a frequency spectrum to generate all sorts of interesting soundscapes. It also uses a bandpass filter to shape that sound. And the bandpass's resonance can be located here under RES. I can adjust this up or down. What I'm thinking is that it might be cool to modulate the resonance of the bandpass filter using a low frequency oscillator. So what I'm going to do is enter Space Drone Structure Making sure that I have my edit mode active, I can click on Space Drone in the breadcrumb trail, double click on Space Drone itself to go into the structure, and once I'm in here I see that it's a fairly complex ensemble. But what I'm looking for is this two-pole filter that is serving as our bandpass. What I would like to do is take away the resonance control that is here and substitute in an LFO. Now I can easily locate an LFO by clicking on or, or touching my enter or return key and bringing up the search bar. In this case, I've already searched for LFO and we see that we have a ton of different options here. Uh, I'm going to choose this LFO6 Classic Modular and drop that in. And then you see it pops up in our structure. Now I can place it anywhere there's a free space. I can even have it sitting over other things, but for simplicity's sake, I'll put it here. And now what I want to do is connect the output of this LFO to the input of the resonance. You see that the resonance is being controlled by this uh, control here. This is just the knob that we were adjusting before. But what I'm going to do is turn down my volume, which is a good idea to do anytime you're making an adjustment of, uh, of some significance in Reactor. I am going to click and delete that knob, and then I am going to click on my zero degree port here in red and drag over to the port that that resonance knob was connected to. Now those are connected, and what we should hear is this LFO controlling the resonance of the bandpass filter. So if I start to bring this volume up, we should hear that in effect, and in fact we do. Very cool indeed. Now if we go into our split view, we can go back up to the panel in one of our splits, and we see that the, the uh, panel for the LFO is kind of landed on top of the rest of the instrument. So what I can do is uh, open up the panel for editing by clicking on this wrench icon and simply click and drag this underneath the rest of the instrument panel uh, parameters. Sit it in there, click on the wrench icon again to exit, and now we have our LFO with all of its, uh, all of its possibilities controlling the bandpass resonance of our of our bandpass filter. We can adjust the speed here. We can adjust the type of wave we're using all the way from a slow random wave here at left to a pulse wave at right. Just a ton of possibilities here. We can also lock this to our uh, project BPM. So this is about the simplest kind of modification you can make using a macro, but I hope this has shown you 
what kind of uh, what kind of potential is at your disposal with Reactor. There really are no limits on what you can do with this. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Get into the factory library and check it out. There's just a universe to explore.